It's MouthBeastSports.com. I'm Pete McMurray along with Jerry Springer. Jerry, you're a Yankees fan. Yes. How did you become a Yankees fan? Look, <laughs> how can you doubt it? Mm -hmm. Now, the one in the middle may be the greatest Yankee catcher of all time. That's you. Yeah. <laughs> how did that happen? There you go. I see the glasses. Yeah. Well, that's the only way I could see. And even that wasn't so good. How did you become a Yankees fan? Can I came story? to America when I was five. Okay. And uh, my you know, parents brought me over here from England. And at that time, boys in uh, England didn't wear long pants until they were uh, 16. So my mom dresses me for school the first, in the first grade, the first day of school in America in New York. And she dresses me in what she thought boys wore, which was blue shorts, a jacket, a bow tie, a beret, and knee socks. <laughs> and the kids beat the crap out of me and ripped my suit. And then the next day, same thing happened. Well, I was running out of suits, and my mom was running out of sons. So she goes up to David's house, David's apartment, who lived in the same building. He was in my class. And, you know, to talk to the parents, you know, what does Gerald have to do to be accepted here in America? Because we never heard of baseball in England. They mm -hmm. don't, didn't have the sport. And this was 1949. So baseball, not only was baseball the sport in America, but it clearly was the sport in New York because New York had the New York Yankees, the Brooklyn Dodgers, and the New York Giants. And every year we had the World Series. I mean, every year we had the World Series. Oh. It was usually, it was almost always the Yankees, but it was either the Yankees against the Dodgers or the Yankees against the Giants. So uh, baseball was it. That's what my mom got out of the conversation. So, so she goes to a department store, I think it was Gimbel's, and she buys me a baseball outfit. She didn't know anything about it, but she went there and she says, Gerald needs a baseball uniform. <laughs> so it happened to be a Yankee uniform. If it had been a Dodger uniform or Giant, it, which she didn't know, but it was a Yankee uniform, that was the size that fit me. And so I wore it to school, the first grade, my Yankee baseball uniform. She says, Gerald, put this on. We didn't know. And it worked. <laughs> no one beat me up. The kids loved it because at that time, to be in the first grade and have your own baseball uniform, oh, this, sure. was, this was unbelievable. Right. And I was afraid to go to school without my Yankee baseball uniform. So uh, really, that was my acceptance. So the, for the first and second grade, every day in school, I wore my Yankee uniform. Every single day you wore the Yankee Every Yankees single uniform. day. Did you wash it? And uh, well, it got pretty gamey. <laughs> so uh, you know, we got another uniform and I would. Right. Yeah. And uh, it, it was number eight. So Yogi Berra became my favorite. Uh, so I grew up with the Yankees in, the, in New York in the 50s. Well, the team you root for in your childhood is the team that stays with you. Sure. You know, it's like your religion. You don't just suddenly, because you move to another city, mm -hmm. change allegiances. So even though it affected my political career and <laughs> when my, you were public, in Cincinnati. my public safety, mm -hmm. you, know, you know, here I am, the mayor of Cincinnati, rooting for the Yankees. This was wrong. That's tough. Oh, it was very tough.